Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Over the years, I've often received emails from people complaining of one of two issues they're having with Photoshop. In this video, I want to talk about both of those issues and how you could easily fix them. The first one has to do with the brush tool. So if you hit the B key on your keyboard and you go to the brush tool, you may find that you'll have like a plus sign where the brush should be, or in this case, it looks like crosshairs maybe. So you're thinking the brush is a little too small. I'll just tap on the right bracket key to make it larger and nothing happens. Left bracket key, nothing happens. You may even go to, let's say, brush attributes, go to the size slider and move that and nothing is happening. Well, to fix this, very simply, turn off your caps lock key. You have caps lock on. So once you turn caps lock off, now you have a real brush and it operates the way you would expect it to operate. Left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. Now, the second issue has to do with any of the tools that use a brush. This, of course, includes the brush. It could be the spot removal tool, the clone stamp tool, and several other tools. Any tool that uses a brush. What people find is that sometimes, in this case, I'll use the brush tool. If they go to brush with the brush, what will happen is the actual brush stroke isn't as large as the circumference of the brush. You can see here how much smaller it is than the actual circumference of the brush. And this, of course, as I mentioned, includes any tool that uses a brush. For example, if I go to the spot removal tool and I get a brush that is just big enough, let's say, to remove this branch over here on the far right, when I paint on the branch, because it's not using the full circumference of the brush, it's not large enough to take away that branch or to paint over that branch. Well, this issue isn't really with Photoshop. The issue is with something that you did in accessibility. Now, of course, I have a Mac, so I'll show you how to take care of this on a Mac. I don't have a PC to show you how to access these settings on a PC. If you do have a PC and you know how to do this, please uh, do me a favor and outline it in the comments below for those that do have a PC and have this issue. All you need to do on a Mac is go to System Preferences, go to Accessibility, go to Display, then go to Cursor. And you can see for this video, I changed the cursor size from Normal to Large. Photoshop doesn't know that you actually did that, so it's not readjusting their brush accordingly. It's just making their brush supersized and the actual brush stroke is normal. So all you need to do is bring that cursor size back down to normal. Uh, just like that, now I'll go to the brush tool, I'll hit the B key, and now when I paint, you'll see my brush stroke is the same circumference of my actual brush. I'll get a larger brush so you maybe could see it. So there. Now, of course, most often pro people probably go into accessibility to change the cursor size because they're farsighted and they don't want to wear their reading glasses when they're working in Photoshop. There's really not much you could do about that. You're going to have to go to preferences, go to accessibility, go to the monitor, go to the cursor, make it normal size while you work in Photoshop, and then you could change it back after you're done. So again, those were uh, two issues I receive emails on all the time. Hopefully uh, this will um, head off some of those emails that I may receive in the future. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.